Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to register EIP report as a ESS job. ESS stands for Enterprise Scheduler Service. This is equivalent to a concurrent program in EBS. So in my last week video, I'd shown you how to create a BIP report. Those who have not seen my last week video, please do watch that before proceeding with this particular video and uh, the url uh, the video url for that particular video i'll be copying pasting that in the uh, description of this uh, video and uh, now i'll show you how to register the bip report as a ESH job again before you proceed further first i'll show you the bip report whatever i have created in my last week's video so now to view the bip report navigate to tools report and uh, analytics and then uh, click on browse catalog so this is where you can uh, see all your uh, bip reports this this is the bip report which i have created gl batches report so you click on this more and then click on this schedule so there is something called uh, a report so this is basically the path for the report copy this so this is uh, required for us uh, when you are registering uh, bip report as an esh job okay so i have copied here now let me show you how to register this bip report as an esh job okay navigate to setup and maintenance which will be again under uh, others and then go to global search and then search for manage percentage enterprise so here you have different uh, manage enterprise schedule job for uh, crm finance and supply chain and human capital management so in my current example i have picked up the gl uh, report which is a financial uh, report so i'll be selecting the task of manage enterprise schedule or job definition and job sets for financial supply chain management and related applications and then click on this plus button to create the job so this is where you create the job so the display name that's the name whatever you want to give it to your uh, report so generally any custom report you actually uh, give your uh, customer name and then followed by the uh, report name so i'll just give uh, my customer name as a reliance gl batches report and this name is basically enter only alphanumeric characters with no spaces so this is kind of a name which is used internally by the uh, system so i'll just give it as rel underscore gl underscore batch and path uh, this is the oracle given default path so let me use the same path here and uh, all these are optional but let me just enter just the uh, application so this is a gl related report so let me select the application as uh, general ledger and the description of this report this report displays gl batches details okay and job application name so this is a uh, finance related so you can select fc f s c m e s s so financial supply chain e s s if it's hr related you select hr and uh, uh, if it's a customer crm related you can select crm e s s and so on so it doesn't have any major impact just from a uh, kind of a categorization perspective so i'm selecting it SCM ESS. Again, job type, it's a BIP report. I'm selecting BIP job type. And if you have any parameters for this report, select the parameters here. And uh, if there's any list of values or drop down, select those here. In my current example, my report do not have any parameters and hence I'm not entering any details here. And again, report ID is mandatory. So let me enter the report ID. So whatever the path, whatever I have copied earlier, so that needs to be entered as the report id here okay. now you can click on 
save and close. So once this is done, you can click on done and then you can proceed towards running of this ESS job. For some reason in this environment, this is taking uh, a little while to save. Okay, let me directly click on done. Hopefully, it's saved. Not sure I got some error message. Let me try once again. Hopefully, it's saved. Now in order to run the report, again, navigate to schedule process. It should be under uh, tools. Schedule new process. Click on the drop down. Click on search. Reliance GL percentage. percentage I think we got some error message wherein uh, it was not saved looks like uh, let us try that once again Again, go back to your setup and maintenance. Global search. <coughs> Manage enterprise. Manage enterprise schedule, job definitions for power, finance, supply chain. Click on plus. Reliance GM batches report. GM RPT. Copy the path here. Channel ledger, Lean GL batches, detail report, job application name, F SCM ESS, job type BIP, and then report ID. Yeah. And then save and close. Probably we need to wait and then click on done.
okay that's done your changes were saved click on done and now go back to your schedule process and then schedule new process click on the drop down search reliance gl yeah now you can see the batch reliance gl batches report i don't have any parameters for now so nothing is displayed here so directly click on the submit button so this uh, job id got submitted ending 040 refresh <coughs> it's in queue now it's in running so wait for the job to be completed and then you can check the output of the a report Still running. Yeah, it's completed now. Okay, select the job, and here you can see the this is the log file, and this is the output file. It's a PDF. So let me select this. So this is the PDF output. So let me save this. Uh, yeah, let me save it on my desktop. Yeah, so this is the GL batches uh, report which I have uh, developed uh, using VIP. And now you can run this report as, as a ES job whenever. You want so this is how you register a pip report as an esa job and then users can uh, uh, run the uh, esa job whenever you want and you can even schedule the uh, ess uh, job thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to click on bell button to get a notification for any new videos thank you